Gun control organized a rally in Columbus today, but by the end of it, it looked more like an NRA rally. Ten TV's Jim Heath attended. Jim, this event had a surprising twist? Indeed, Jerry. It certainly answers the question, what exactly happens when you throw a political rally and no one shows up except for your opposition? President Reagan was right in 1933 when Hitler took over. It was supposed to be a rally of supporters of gun background checks. As a gun owner, I'm a responsible person, and I think it's responsible to ask all gun owners to have a background check. But when Blanche Lusick tried to make her case... It takes 90 seconds to get a background check. And more than 98 percent... She was quickly overwhelmed by gun rights supporters. Uh, I want to show my support for the NRA and gun rights and the Second Amendment. Charlie Roberts says he and his fellow gun advocates, many of whom were wearing their sidearms at the rally, just wanted to make sure their voices were heard too. Go after the criminals that commit guns with uh, crimes with guns and not the honest law-abiding citizens. Blanche says she She's disappointed in Senator Rob Portman for voting against background checks. I'm surprised with our Congress every day that they're not doing anything. But the majority at the rally ended up chanting his praises. We love Portman! We love Portman! It was yet another demonstration of the organizational power of the Buckeye Firearms Foundation and the NRA who quickly took control of the rally and the message. There is no reason for mayors against illegal guns to be in Ohio. Uh, Ohioans stand up for our constitutional rights, and uh, that's the way it's going to be. Senator Rob Portman has not changed his mind on his gun vote. And keep in mind that the background check bill was actually defeated in the Democratic majority U.S. Senate. The likelihood that it will be approved anytime soon is considered slim. Live in the newsroom, Jim Heath, NTV News.